A man fell into a depression after his wife left him after 17 years. He felt like he had only one way out. But before he made this decision, something happened that altered the course of his life forever. In this video, we're going to take a look at a man whose life changed forever. Expect the unexpected. Life will never give you what you expect, but what you most need at that moment. This is what Bobby Humphreys discovered when his rescue arrived at an unforeseen moment. Bobby Humphreys, 48, led a good life with his wife, whom he was married to for 17 years. Bobby was the epitome of machismo, a bodybuilder, carpenter, and a staunch devotee of large breed dogs, Rottweilers in particular. He loved everything about them and could not understand how people could own small dogs. Bobby used to make fun of his friends whenever he saw them walking their girlfriend's small dogs or when they started dating someone who owned small dogs. Then, in one day, life took a surprising turn for Bobby. Bobby was celebrating New Year's with his wife when she told him that she wanted to divorce him. She told him she had fallen in love with someone else who was also in a relationship and wanted to pursue this new relationship. Completely caught off guard, Bobby found himself grappling with unforeseen events. A week later, he also had a shoulder injury diagnosis that sidelined his fitness routine. The diagnosis and the shocking news from his wife was too much for Bobby. He was submerged in a darkness of despair and heartbreak that felt too heavy to pick himself up and out of, and he became deeply depressed. He was so burdened and weighed down by grief. It seemed like there were no viable solutions to alleviate his spirit from the darkness that surrounded him. He didn't want to see or speak to anybody, not even Bobby's closest friend, Connie, who wanted to help him in any way imaginable. Not even Connie could get through to him. She reached out with care and love, but it appeared that it meant nothing, as Bobby brushed her off and continued to close himself off from the world. Much to Connie's frustration, it was becoming clear that her advice wouldn't reach his dark heart. It even came to a point where Bobby was considering ending his own life, as he thought that it was the only possible solution. Luckily, Connie did not give up that easily. Bobby looks back on that moment as one of his most precious moments of that time. I lost faith in humanity. I got weak. I wanted to end it. One person above all, Connie, kept me on this planet. A true friend that was always there. In fact, she wouldn't leave me alone long enough to do what I wanted to do. She literally just wouldn't go away, no matter how much I told her to. She had lost friends to suicide before and wasn't going to lose me. Then one day, Connie found herself in need of Bobby's assistance. She was leaving and couldn't take Lady, her chihuahua, with her. She wanted Bobby to care for her beloved pet in her absence. Although he had certainly crossed paths with Lady before, it was not a heartfelt encounter. But Bobby agreed to take care of Lady. Connie had been such a good friend and he wanted to repay her for that. Connie had her own reservations and wondered whether or not her macho friend Bobby would get along with her small chihuahua Lady. She knew that she couldn't impose the job on anyone else, and without any other alternatives, she reluctantly decided to put her trust in Bobby while she was away. Bobby was a little apprehensive about having a small dog roommate, but thought that if they steered clear of each other, their new arrangement could work. Connie dropped off Lady while Bobby was at work, and when Bobby got home that evening, Lady was sitting quietly in her kennel. Bobby had a fear that if he should let Lady out of the kennel, she would bite him. But after about 15 minutes, Bobby said to himself, screw it. I don't care if this dog bites me or not. She's not going to be sitting in a kennel. So he let Lady out of her kennel. When Connie returned home, she hastened to Bobby's apartment to pick up Lady. And what a surprise it was to find them snuggling sweetly on the couch. Before leaving, she had expected that Bobby and Lady might work out their grievances with one another. However, she would have never imagined that this reconciliation would involve curling up together. As she began to speculate about the extent of their newfound companionship, Connie understood that it was something born out of truly enjoying each other's company. In her absence, the two had enjoyed spending time together in their playful activities. Bobby recalls of that time, the only thing that was keeping me going was Lady. I'd lay in bed all day with her. We'd play. We got so close. I fell in love with this little dog. Over the next months, Humphreys and Lady really got to know each other. There were many days Bobby could not even get up and go to work. Weeks turned into months, and the only thing that made him happy was spending time with Lady. He couldn't believe how this little seven-pound beautiful baby stole his heart. Lady did more than just change his outlook on small dogs. Through her independence, intelligence, and determination to be with him, she utterly transformed his life for the better. Little Lady offered him back what he had eagerly desired, his dignified respect and redemption. 
after suffering from horrible humiliation, overwhelming shame, and heartbreaking abandonment. But it wasn't solely positivity that put that in motion. Her presence unlocked something within, too. Reassurance that even throughout those tumultuous times, he knew he hadn't gone astray. Together, their meaningful connection gave him the strength to have faith in himself despite everything he had been through. Despite previous apprehensions about tiny canine companions, Bobby couldn't help but fall in love with Kira. The moment he'd laid eyes on her, he knew she was the one. So, without skipping a beat, he signed the adoption papers. Little did he know, Kira was only the beginning of his small dog adventure. Next came Harley and her sister Quinn. When Bobby found Harley, she was only six weeks old. Harley reminded him so much of Lady that he had to have her. However, there was definitely something wrong with her, but Bobby couldn't place it. As they went up to get Quinn from upstairs, the daughter of the breeder let it slip that Harley and Quinn were the result of improper line breeding, or more directly, being inbred. His thoughts were that these dogs were so ugly that nobody was going to buy them, or they were going to get cast aside, so Bobby had to have them. Thanks to his experience with Lady, Kira, Harley, and Quinn, Bobby soon realized that his true calling in life was to rescue and save little dogs. It wasn't long before requests for assistance began pouring in, each story more heartbreaking than the last. Hoarders, recluses, and abused animals painted a vivid picture of societal decay. The darker the tales, the stronger his disdain for humanity grew, and he promised himself to each and every one of them that they would never have to experience abuse, neglect, abandonment, or the pain of loving someone that would not give you love in return, no matter how much you tried. Eventually, this evolved into starting a sanctuary. Bobby had an inspiring and ambitious aspiration in mind to start a sanctuary to care for those unseen by the rest of the world. With a simple core thought in his heart, he focused his attention on loving stray animals that people otherwise pass over on sight. He promised to endearingly prove their intrinsic value and let them live their lives to the fullest potential, regardless of how imperfect they may appear. His place works just like the old 1960s claymation Christmas cartoon Rudolph, famous for the island of misfit toys, an idyllic paradise for lost souls unwelcome on the mainland, a setting where these forgotten companions are accepted, adored, and treasured. He now has more than 40 dogs he takes care of, and the number is growing every month. Going through the end of a relationship can be incredibly tough, especially when going through it alone. Bobby found himself exactly in that spot, feeling helpless and very much in need of support. That help eventually came in the form of his four-legged friends, Lady, and later Kira, Harley, Quinn, and the others. Having furry little buddies quickly transformed Bobby's outlook, reigniting his sense of purpose, which has been immensely helpful to him, helping him get through an emotionally difficult time. These companions truly saved him from being stuck in a persistent dark place. Now Bobby is the salvation for so many furried friends looking for love. However big or small his influence might have been to their little hearts, he gave them all the home and the love they came searching for, launching Bobby into something bigger than what he thought was initially possible. Bobby earned more than just four heartfelt best friends from it. He gained gratitude from admirers near and far. This story teaches us that by embracing the unexpected, life takes you down paths that are uncharted and helps to deliver experiences far more fulfilling than imaginable. Life isn't about believing in what has already been determined or what could be expected, but exploring where things can go if expectations are tossed aside. With an open heart, one never truly knows where life will take them, but rest assured they'll end up triumphant in one form or another much like Bobby Humphreys did when rescue came just at the hour of his need and changed the course of his life forever. And with that, we've come to the end of our story. We hope this video inspires you. You can stay updated on stories like this and other inspiring and amazing stories by subscribing to our channel. Please subscribe and let us know what you think about this story.